Well, somebody told me that I would be a dreamer for life. Somebody told me I would never reach the other side. Well, you see him all years, but cross your fingers and yours to lose. What if it's so true? Welcome to EA Sports live coverage of the Champions Cup. Here's your commentary team, Martin Tyler and Alan Smith. Well, here we are, Alan, off and running. We love this competition, the Champions Cup. It's the group stage, match day one. Yeah, the start of what can be a fantastic journey if you put it together, if you do everything right. Big game. Our match today, Celtic against Rio Ave. On the attack here. He was done well. Valente Larazabal ready to get the game underway. Puki. Strong tackle here. Got the ball well to set his team on the front foot by intercepting. Into the face of the opposition. Attacking now. Challenges for the ball. Can't keep the ball at the moment. Pardo. And in goes the cross. And it just faded away from the targets, actually, the cross. Strikers is out for the home team today, Alan. Yeah, and he's uh, he's waiting with a few goals, and uh, he's always in that first team lineup, and it will be a blow. Tuki, it's Celtic on the attack. Brilliant opening.
Tuki. In a goal. Could it be? Celtic have scored. This really is a team game, and that shows the value of team play. Several players involved, great passing, great movement on and off the ball, and a super goal. Yeah, it was, the, the way he shifted the ball on. It was, it was great team play, Martin, you're right. Played into the middle. Good reflexes by the goalkeeper. Powerful effort for chasing this equaliser. They've got a corner. Giate! Great header, great goal! is delightfully taken. Well, the uh, attention to detail from the coach on these kind of set pieces is faultless. He'll be delighted with that. We're all level again. 1-1 one, one the score. Griffiths. presented to the player by the opposition. Chance for it. Alexander Tete. That's where you want to try and get control in midfield, and they've got the ball. He's got to score. Oh! goal and up on the scoreboard here it says 2-1 Yassine Benzia Ambrose now Griffiths Seen Benzia. Three minutes to be added on. The interception there was key, really, to the side that's having to defend at the moment. Here's Brown. Here's the chance to get in the cross. Here's Brown. This is half time, that's the whistle, and 2 1 is the score at this stage. In a really gripping first half here, genuine intensity in the fixture, and the losing side certainly not out of it yet. Oh, by no means, Martin, and it is difficult to call a winner because they have been so closely matched. So we reach half time with a score 2 1. Let's take a look back at the highlights from that first half, and then we'll be back over to your commentary team for the second half. Place. They've decided to make a change, and being behind, you can understand that. Well, this first match of the Champions Cup has uh, taken shape in the first half. Second half underway. Yeah, match day one, you always want to get off to a good start, so still a chance for both teams here. That's a real tussle for the ball there. Philip Twadzik. Daniel Opare. Nassim Benzia. Crosses in. I don't like to use the word panic, but I think it's appropriate here. In quickly, the forward. Here's an opportunity. On the attack here. It's going to be a goal, surely. Well read by the defender to intercept. 
Well, that looked promising, but he's been stopped. We'll see what life is like without him. Now that he's uh, moved on, the club decided to cash in on his value. But uh, a good player no longer here. No, I mean, life goes on, but huge shoes to fill. He contributed so much to this football club. He could be in here. They're desperate to try and change this game. It's been level, and now they're pushing on, looking for the goal that will take them in front. Well, now we are going to have a substitution. And at this stage of the game, and in comes the header. Got to be. Oh, his nerves were jangling then, that defensive player. Able to make a good interception. Celtic players. Alexander Tete. Good forward play from them. The uh, Attack has fizzled out here, goal kick. He's coming off now, but he surely deserves all the applause he's getting. Yeah, he was bright and lively and showed a lot of energy, as you'd expect at a new club. So let's have a look at the possession stats on the screen now. There they are. Yeah, very close. I think we could probably tell that without even looking at the figures. Not much to split these two sides. Stokes. Excellent passing here. In a goal. Oh! Super goal here. And a super time to get it because they're in front now. Well, it's turning out to be a thrilling contest. 3 2 the score. Could be dangerous. A touch off the player and out. This is a key moment for the manager. He knows he's got the lead and he's now going to do his best to try and retain that. Shooting from distance. Very close to scoring, to be honest. In midfield, they've got it back via an interception. Well, he's gone off the player who signed at the start of this season. But he looked good to me. What about to your much more expert eye? Well, I thought he looked lively from the off, and uh, he showed some neat touches. He was nice and sharp, so plenty more to come. Here we go into the last five minutes of regulation time, and they lead by one. Daniel Opare. There's some potential in this move. That's the way to win the ball back. Well, it's nip and tuck here, Alan, isn't it? They've got the lead, the fans are backing them to the hilt, the other team are coming right at them. Well, it'd be a fantastic result this, you know, because they have played extremely well. And the opponents come in strongly. Cross coming in now. Defender read the cross well and got to it. And met by the header to clear the ball away. There it is, the final whistle. Well, the two sides really have given us a, an exciting game. Bit unlucky to lose it though. I think so, and the manager will be saying, listen, if we play like that next week, we'll probably win the match. So it's full time for the final score, 3-2. I'll leave you with the full match highlights, and until next time, I've been Jeff Stelling.